Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install 2F off on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over at HomeLab, some installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, I'm going to show you how to install 2F off on Dockage. So, um, a web app to manage your two-factor authentication accounts and generate uh, their security codes. And then this is some screenshots of what it looks like. And then, uh, I hear some features. So they do have a website, so I'll go over to it. So here's some more screenshots of what it looks like and why 2F auth. The features are generate passwords, work anywhere, QR code scan, two-factor auth management, protect your data, multi-user and import and export, and then a REST API, and then they do have a demo to look at. So that's what will be installed today. So now I'm gonna go over the Docker Compose so I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to how to install 2F auth on Dockage right here. And then I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So 3.8 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to set the services and then the service underneath the service called app. The, cont the container name is called Big Bear 2F auth. The, the Dockage image is coming from Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. It's 2F auth, 2F auth. And then the Docker, uh, the Docker image tag is 424. That's the latest version currently right now. Um, a restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for no reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. Now I'm going to set some ports. So 8,000 on the host. And if this does collide with another port on your host, uh, you can change this to another port. And then on the container is 8,000. You cannot change the container's port or volume. Um, so the network mode is bridge. And then a volumes is 2F auth data. This is a local volume that's de defined down here. And then on the container is 2F auth. You cannot change the right side of these, the ports or the volumes. So now I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go to compose up here. And then now I'm going to put a stack name in. So 2F auth stack and then now i'm going to go over to my editor right here i'm going to paste in the docker and pose that I explained over in big bear video assets and then um now uh you can see that if you edit things over here they'll sync over here and vice versa um so i'm going to go ahead and deploy so now what this is doing is pulling down the docker uh, image from the registry getting extracted and getting it up with docker compose underneath so you can see that um, it, it is working and it's up and running. So now I'm going to um, show you the stack options on Dockage. So you can see the active stacks, the exit stacks, and the inactive. You can go over he here and you can see the containers that are in the stack. You can see the uh, logs. You can see the Docker Compose. And this is read only over here. Um, the actions are edit, restart, update, stop, and then um, you can stop and down and then delete. You can go into the bash or sh right here and go into the container. Um, you can go to the UI from here. Just click on the ports. Um, so I'm going to go and edit. And now you can add a container to this Docker Compose right here. Either through here or through here over here and editing it. You can, you can edit the Docker Compose over here. 
and then it'll sync over here. You can edit the Docker, uh, the Docker container from the UI over here, and then it'll sync over here. You can edit the environment variables. You can edit the networks, internal and external. You can add URLs. You can deploy the changes. You can save the changes. You can stop them down, and then you can discard the changes. I'm gonna discard them. So now you can restart the stack. This could take a bit to restart. Okay, now it's restarted successfully. You can update the stack and then you can stop. So that's a little bit about the stack options in Dockage. So now I'm gonna start on Dockage. I'm gonna go to the stack over here and then I'm gonna tap on 8,000 right here. Now we're going to need to register an account so I'm gonna register an account real quick. So and then now once you put in your name, your email, your password, you're going to say register. Now we're gonna say maybe maybe later on that. So you can scan a QR code right here, you can upload a QR code, you can use advanced form, and um, you can import. So um, you can go down here to the settings. You can see general, so language, display mode, theme, show icons, get official icons, password formatting, the uh, the uh, the a pair, a trio, and a half. So you can see groups down here, and remember group filter, security, auto lock, um, show password after a click slash tap co constantly. Show generated one-time passwords as dots. Close one-time password after a copy. Copy one-time password on display. The data input, use ba ba basic QR code reader. Direct input, default input mode. There's the modes. And then the administration, so you can check for new, uh, a new version right here. Protect sensible data, disable re re registration. You can go to your account, so you can change your password, you can delete your account, you can set up OAuth, you can set up WebAuth in. So, that's a little about 2F Auth. So I just went over step by step on getting 2F Auth working on Dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.